Well, this is Apple here with me. She was one of several dogs that we took with us recently to a three-day show weekend put on by our breed club, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Club USA. And even though we had Apple and Jamba and Bella all entered in various classes throughout the weekend with three different judges, we came back home without having won anything of significance. One of the cardinal rules of dog showing is that you have to know how to lose gracefully. I want to show you a few clips from the weekend and you'll see what I mean by losing gracefully. This is me showing Bella. The judge, after doing her table examination, asked me to go down and back in the ring. The judge was a respected breeder judge from the UK. We were entered in a class that was restricted to all ruby-colored cavaliers. And you see here we are in our final lineup. And the judge is taking one more look to decide which one she wants to be in first, second, third, and fourth place. You'll notice she's not pointing at Bella. Until third place. And third place actually in a class of dogs that are that nice was quite good. But if you look closely at those of us who are not in the front of the line, we're turning toward the person who is in the front of the line. And it's even hard to read lips, but we're saying congratulations. The degree of enthusiasm of the congratulations is kind of dependent on what's happening. This is someone receiving what we call a major win. That's a big deal. And you'll notice the hugs and kisses and everybody getting very excited. Everyone in the ring comes over to say congratulations, give the old pat on the arm. So losing gracefully is really part and parcel of the whole sport of dog showing. There's a corollary to that. You do win sometimes, <clears throat> and when you win, you have to also learn how to win gracefully. You have to realize that if you are in the ring with the other dogs that you're competing with and you are the winner, everybody else in the ring is not a winner. So you can't like rub it into them. You have to be very humble about your victory. You have to accept their congratulations with a smile and a thank you so that they know you appreciate their good sportsmanship. And by the way, during that weekend, there was one real bright spot. Part of the show weekend was a competition that we call Puppy of the Year. Puppy of the Year is a competition that we hold once a year. And we take all of the Cavaliers who, during the year previous, among all the dozens of shows that are held by our club around the country, have won a first place in their class before they were one year old. The one who winds up the winner in that very elite group is declared our Puppy of the Year. Now, Apple might be the Puppy of the Year in my eyes, but we had 33 other Cavaliers who were invited along with her. While she didn't win, we did come home with a really nice rosette. Every puppy who qualifies for the Puppy of the Year competition in our club gets one of these rosettes. It's personalized. It has, yeah, it's, a, it's your ribbon. It's yours, yes it is. It has her registered name, the official registered name, which is Blackfire New York State of Mind, and boss on there. The date and location of the Puppy of the Year competition. And then over here it says Puppy of the Year qualifier. I like to spoof my friends and show it to them with my hand covering the word qualifier so 
they think she was actually the puppy of the year. But it doesn't usually fool too many people. But just to be part of that process and just to be a qualifier is a great honor. So we're very proud of Apple. So please remember, if you do get involved with dog showing, that you learn that there's always good sportsmanship shown inside and outside of the ring. And so whether you are a winner or, I don't like to call them losers, or not a winner, you do so with grace and with a really good attitude.